Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm bringing you another battle. There we go, another fucking battle. This is against Sam, aka Fufu. You all know him, of course. He's a great gentleman, and uh, he's one of my good friends here on YouTube. And this is an inverse battle. Inverse battle. Uh, it's a meta game that I really like. Actually, it's like uh, it just. This, most of you will know that it just uh, inverse the typing weaknesses. And immunities are inverse. So, for example, in this meta game, water and grass are really good offensive types, uh, and steel is a really bad defensive type because the things that resist steel, uh, no, the things that steel resist, for example, now uh, in this meta game, steel is weak to it. So it's all inverse. You'll see how it goes in this battle. Uh, but yeah, the team preview. Uh, I was using uh, my Aryu teams because I was testing how the meta works and all, and we were battling to have fun with Sam and Don Deal and all that. But uh, yeah, my team. Have, uh, it's a Kangaskhan, Kangaskhan team. Uh, with, he has a, it's a Solves Kangaskhan, Special Defensive Musharna, uh, with Heal Bell and, you know, Toxic. Then we have uh, Pursuit Sucker Punch Trapping. Um, Spiritum, Bandit, Basculin, um, Ninetales, Flashfire Ninetales, which is really good in this meta, much better than with Drought, because uh, it's just weak to grass, I think, and Bug. And then we have Shift Tree. So my main offensive mons are Basculin, Ninetales, and Shift Tree. And looking at his team in inverse battle, his team is really weak to water. Like, Gorbis is weak to water. Salamence is weak to water, Go Goat is also weak to water, a same as uh, Greninja. So just his Volcarona is water. So if I, I get rid of this Volcarona, Basculin, my banded adaptability Basculin, my lover, is gonna have a great time. Um, yeah, uh, so his lead, one of his best bonds if, is Go Goat in this metagame because it, it has immunity to grass, which I forgot in the time of this battle, you'll see. And it's just weak to water. And yeah. I think though he's gonna leave with his Stealth Rocker, which is probably gonna be this Registeel, because it's the only Pokemon of his team that can learn Stealth Rocks. And yeah. So let's see how this goes. Uh, he leads with Salamence though, and I lead with Kangaskhan. <coughs> and I was not a fan of this matchup because I had the the Intimidate, but I tried to go for Drain Punch. He resists the hit though. And with the last attack, I'll decide to switch, and bring my Musharna, and start and act because I can hit I can hit him super effectively with a with a psychic, and I thought he would T wave so I can synchronize that, but that didn't work. He's gonna pull the rocks now as I heal Bell, <coughs> and here he's gonna toxic me again to force me to heal Bell later, which is you know it's fine. Go Psyshock does a decent amount of damage, 42%. That was a crit though, which uh, that means he could he can take the hit really well. He decides to switch though now, bring the Go-Goat, which takes the Psyshock uh, decently. And he can bulk up on me, because I know he said he's gonna bulk up, that's what he does. Uh, and I'm gonna bring Basculin in here, I resist his uh, grass attack, and he goes for sub, which is so uh, alright, I, I can break this up, no problem. I'm gonna go for Waterfall, I even outfit. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna predict him to bring Volcarona because it's the only thing that resists that. And I'm gonna bring my Shifter, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, because he, now in this metagame, he's quite weak to Leaf, uh, to leaf Storm. So I'll, I'll do that. I'll go for Leaf Storm. And I thought, dude, super effective damage in Go Go. But I forgot the Zap Shiver works in this metagame and the same. So, yeah. I'll decide to switch. I bring this. Uh, not to re I really thought he would equip because it was a safe middle, it's super effective on shift tree. And uh, if I brought another thing like Basculin, it could deal a lot of damage, which is fine. I sag my nine tails, it's a shame. I can bring to this and predict he's switching to Volcarona now and go for super power, which is weak and destroy him. Destroy him. See you, Volcarona. I have to keep this Basculin. Basculin is my win condition in this battle. I was really afraid of him cell smashing here. But I bring feet, there's nothing I can do to be honest. He goes for called being safe, he won't, uh, he's not gonna mess around with that threat. Um, <clears throat> he's gonna switch out now. Uh, I'll predict him to switch though. Uh, or just in case he went for the shell smash, I could uh, go for toxic. But this sub go goat now has toxic on it, which is awesome. Awesome news. 
<coughs> that means that in this turn he takes this turn to bulk up as I go for a uh, heal bell to get rid of poison. He goes for ho <sighs> fucking Hornage gets a crit. Sadly, it is what it is. Go and deal some damage with Psyshock and this is the Psyshock damage plus the Toxic is going is go uh, doing a good amount <coughs> to his Gogot. Sorry, my voice is a little fucked up today, wow. Uh, but yeah, bringing Basculin, I outspeed. Uh, I can freely go for Water Volcast. <laughs> no switch into that, please. Uh, now he's gonna bring Greninja. I know he outspeeds and he has the HP Grass. But I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is bring Kangaskhan to basically resist any attack. Luckily, I don't get burnt with Skull, which is an awesome new And He's gonna bring Registeel to try to resist my attacks, but uh, normally super effective on Steel now, so Return does a lot! Return does a lot. Kangaskhan, you're a beast. I just have to kill him with Return now. Things are looking pretty great. Now he's gonna bring the Salamence. Get the Intimidate, that was his plan. But I know, yeah, he's mixed. And Kangas kind of really bulky. I'm gonna go for Drain Punch, get some HP back, and now I'm gonna try to kill him with Earthquake as I leave the Dragon Claw. I was not expecting Dragon Claw, but now he's at 1 HP. It's okay. I can go for Sucker Punch, kill him. Beautiful news. <laughs> Kangas kind got a kill. Now he's gonna bring Gorbis. I'm just gonna let Kangas kind die. I'm sorry. You did something at least. You killed two things. And now to bring Shifty. I know he's weak to water, but uh, I didn't. My plan here is to weaken him a little bit, not allow him to to shell smash. And my plan here is just to get damage on this because when Shifter is down, as you can see, I can just bring my Basculin, lock myself into adaptability, Bandit Aqua Jet, and pretty much win the game. As, uh, kill the Gorbis, and he's gonna bring Greninja, which is weak to it in this meta game. And it's a one shot with the adaptability aqua jet. It's brutal. It's, it's amazing. It, it's it's fucking destruction. Uh, but yeah, that was the battle. Really fun battle. Really fun meta game. I'm planning on do a session on it. And yeah, I hope you you watch it. I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'll. I hope you all enjoyed this battle. Give a like if you did. Put your comments as always. And see you in the next thing I will do. Bye.